File update is a method of capturing holdings barcodes into text files and using them to update the active inventory. This ensures you have a backup of your captured barcodes should you need to start the inventory over again. Please note, uploading a captured file of barcodes for inventory will check in any circulating items. Libraries that remain open during inventory should close any sections for which you are capturing barcodes. Do not reopen them for circulation until you have uploaded the inventory file. A variety of applications can be used to capture barcodes. Please make sure your application will save the file as plain text data. Atrium will not accept RTF files, which is rich text format. Notepad on a PC and Text Edit on a Mac both allow you to save files as plain text. Many word processing applications such as MS Word or Pages allow you to do this too. To get started, I'll switch to a PC so that I can demonstrate creating a folder on the computer for the inventory files. On a PC, right click on the computer desktop and select New Folder. For this demonstration, I will name this folder Inventory followed by the current year. Make sure to place each of the captured inventory text files into this folder. For added insurance, you may want to copy the folder and its contents to a flash drive so you have a copy that you can take out of the building. Next, I'll open Notepad, which is located in Accessories. This application is supplied with your computer and provides a way to capture holdings barcodes as just plain text data. Let's scan several item barcodes into Notepad. Next, click File and Save As and locate the folder on your desktop. Carefully name the file and click Save. A partial inventory may only require one file while a full inventory will probably require multiple files to capture all the holdings in your library. The file is now located in the inventory folder on the desktop. By uniformly naming the files, they sort properly within the folder. Thus, you can easily browse to the file you need for updating the inventory. Capturing holdings barcodes on a Mac computer is slightly different, so let's switch back to a Mac computer to see how it works. Make a folder on the desktop to hold your inventory files. Right-click on your desktop and select New Folder. I will name this folder Inventory and add the current year. Next, you will need to use Text Edit or a similar program to capture barcodes. If text edit is not already located in your dock, open Finder, locate Applications, and select text edit from the list. Let's scan several item barcodes into text edit. In the menu bar for text edit, select Format and click Make Plain Text. Click File, and then click Save, and locate the folder on the desktop. Carefully name and save the file. The file is now located in the inventory folder on the desktop. Any application that provides the ability to save the file as plain text can be used to capture barcodes for inventory. These captured files are easily uploaded into Atrium to update the inventory. Now that barcodes have been captured and saved, let's return to an inventory in Atrium and locate a file to upload. 
To show this process from the beginning, click Catalog in the menu and select Inventory from the list. Locate the inventory you want to update, and this time I want to update the 100's inventory. Locate the Update Inventory from Files section in the middle of the screen. And if you have navigated yourself away from this screen, the File Update link will always return you to this screen. If you know it, type the path for the location of your file. Otherwise, use the Browse or Choose File button to locate the appropriate file of the holdings barcodes for this particular inventory. Remember, I saved my file to the inventory folder on my desktop. Next, click the Update Inventory button to process the text file. The Stats section is updated to reflect the barcodes you uploaded for the inventory. As you work through an inventory section using any of the capture methods, appropriate error messages and red text will appear as they apply, and if you have sounds enabled, you will receive an audible alert too. For example, the red message for holding has already been marked as seen appears on your screen. This message will appear if you process the same barcode again. In addition to the holding has already been marked as seen message, you could also receive other error messages as well. Out of order, when you have set up Atrium to report items out of order during inventory, a Calculate Out of Order button will display on the inventory form. Click it to check the list of items for any that were scanned out of their shelf order. If items are found, an error message displays beneath those titles. The setting can be found under Administration, Catalog, and Catalog Settings. If you do not want to see these messages, select the No Radio button. Holding not found or is not part of this inventory. This message appears when items are scanned that are not part of the inventory with which you are working. This can happen when you scan an item that is shelved in the wrong place, or it does belong in this section and has a cataloging error. Its spine label may be correct, but the item report class drop-down option on the cataloging record is incorrect. Holding was checked in. If the scanned item was on loan, this message will appear indicating it has been checked in. Now let's look at how to use File Capture to inventory items currently on loan that you want to remain on loan. Many schools have items on permanent loan to teachers or staff. Capturing these barcodes into a file will allow you to account for the items the teacher can locate. First, make sure you have created a full inventory or a section inventory for the items to be scanned. Using one or both is acceptable and will depend on the method you use for inventory. Second, scan the items into a text file and save it. You can even have the teacher scan items into the file and email it to you. Instead of using File Upload, use Bulk Renew. Copy and paste the barcodes from the captured file into the Bulk Renew box and click the Renew button. Remember, when an inventory has been created and is active, Circulation activities such as check in, check out, or renew will count the item as seen in the inventory. Using bulk renew kills two birds with one stone. You have renewed the item for the teacher and counted it for inventory. Please watch the next video in the inventory video series.